This is the Integrated Math 1 Practice Test for Tin Ready. Question number 9 of the 2017-18 edition. Which pair best, and best is there in bold, so we know it's important, uh, represents a causation relationship? The big deal here would be the cause part. We have to be able to make a valid assertion that one activity causes another. So we're looking for something that's not just, well, they happen at the same time. The reason behind the second thing is the first thing, or at least we think so. You can't always really, I mean, it's almost impossible to prove causation, but you can show their very close correlation often leads us to the idea that it's probably the reason, that sort of thing. Um, a says a person's age and his, her shoe size. Um, not much, because your shoe size doesn't, I mean, some people who are really, uh, I mean, in, in, as a child, that tends to be the case, but there's a lot of children who have, who are in middle school or high school that have much bigger feet than adults, so that's not really, I mean, not really, so who knows. There's not even much of a correlation. In, I mean, there are, but not a great correlation, so th and definitely not enough to prove causation. B, the number of ice cream cones sold and the amount of sunscreen sold. There's probably a correlation, because if I'm eating ice cream, I'm probably also buying sunscreen, at least if I'm doing it in a mass amount. But I don't buy ice cream because I bought sunscreen. They just happen to happen at the same time. C, the temperature at a football game and the number of hot drinks sold. Now, that might work. If it's the winter time as you go in and you see the football games on TV and snowing, those people are probably not getting lots of ice cold soda to drink at that time. They're probably getting coffee or hot chocolate or whatever they need to do to feel warm. Um, so this one looks pretty good. I'm going to do like a half circle there, fill in the rest later. So I'm making a C around a C. And D, the number of people attending a ball game and the length of a ball game. Depending on the ball game, if it's baseball, for instance, you have no idea how long the game is going to go and the number of people attending it. Now, if it goes super long, some people might leave, but other people will stay because it's gone that long, so they're really invested. Since you don't know ahead of time how long it's going to go, people attending it has nothing to do with it, really. And at the same time, if a game is the same length over and over again, or supposed to be anyway, I know sports, uh, lots of sports have clocks that and they still go on forever because of all the penalties or whatever. Um, those people will come because they're interested in the game. It has almost nothing to do with the length of the game, and just on a game-to-game -game basis anyway. So a very weak correlation. Um, so the temperature at the football game and the number of hot drinks sold is a very strong candidate for causation, especially when I'm comparing them with uh, age, shoe size, ice cream, and sunscreen, and length of a game and people attending.